Hey guys, time management is pretty critical when you're doing a farmer's market as a side gig and you have other stuff to do. So it's about 7.30 in the morning. I started some bread. That's going to rise for 45 minutes. I'll set my timer on my phone. I'm going to go out and weed some strawberries. And um, after that I'll come in. I'll uh, shape my bread into, into loaves. I'll eat breakfast. I'll head back out. Um, come in again when it's done rising a second time, uh, turn the oven on, and then I'll go out and do my barn chores for the day. Here my bread has risen. I got back in from doing chores. So I am going to turn the oven on and start this bread to baking, and it'll break, bake for 30 minutes. As the bread is baking, I am going to mix up a batch of cookies. So that's what you see down there. Alright, it is 10 o'clock. My bread is out of the oven. I've got molasses cookie dough made. I'm working on the monster cookies. One trick I've learned with monster cookies is to reserve a half a cup of the, which is half, of the M&Ms. And then I put those in later because a lot of times the M&M's just don't stick into the dough. So you have cookies with no M&M's and cookies with a lot of M&M's. But saving some out and putting them on later helps. My test cookie turned out beautiful. So I've got um, one sheet in the oven right now and then I've got this one ready and waiting in the wings. And you always want to have something ready for the oven so it's not just turned on and wasting energy and also so it saves you time. Hey guys at this point it is 11:30, and I've got pretty much all of my cookies baked I have all my bread baked so I'm gonna show you what I've done in the past couple hours and I'm gonna start thinking about lunch probably pretty soon here. Okie dokie, I am ready for lunch. I got the table set there. Um, here you are looking at over $60 worth of farmer's market product. And this is all stuff I made this morning since um, 7.15 or so. Except the granola, I make that a day or two ahead of time just because I can. So I'm still going to make some rhubarb crisp. And maybe some root, strawberry rhubarb bread. But other than that, I'm pretty much done baking for the day. Guys, it is 2.30 and all of my food is pretty much baked. Everything's ready to go. I need to be out of here by 4. So I'm going to spend the next hour and a half um, getting ready and also making more video, obviously. That's something I usually don't do on a regular market day. So tonight is my first ever evening market. So... It'll be interesting to see how that goes. Honestly, I'm kind of doubtful whether I'll break even or not, and I'll show you why in a minute, but uh, we'll see. I'll report back later. Now I'm going to show you why it's so hard to make a buck at a farmer's market. So here's my inventory sheet. I filled it out with everything that I am taking today. And at the bottom you see I've written my costs. And those are come to a total of $43.48. We've got our booth fee at $25. That's more because it's an evening market. Gas is $4. And the cost of all the recipes I made today was $14.48. So $43.48 is what we have to make. And that's just to break even. That's not counting anything for my time. So over here... I've done how much time I put in. I put in five hours today making stuff. And then I also put in um, five hours. I will be putting in five hours at the market for a total of ten hours. And the stuff that I made today during that five dollars, that's what it amounts to. $108 retail. So you can see I only, and that doesn't include the soap or the jam, but it includes most of what I sell on a weekly basis. And you can see that I only have the potential to make just over $100, and that's if I sell out. Um, working basically all morning today and some in the afternoon. And then my costs are $43 right off the bat. So regardless of what happens today, I know I'm not going to make more than probably $60. And that's if it turns out to be a really, really, really good market. 
apart from my um, baked goods and also my tent and table and chair and stuff, I'm going to bring this suitcase that has my tablecloth and my papers and bags and stuff. Basically all my miscellaneous stuff goes in there. This is my little snack for tonight, or meal I guess. And I usually bring a, a meal slash snack, bottle of water, and then um, anything else that I might want to take for myself. And then I put my eggs in the styrofoam cooler. And then I also have the soap box that my husband made me that has all of my soap in it. Okay guys, as you can see I'm all packed up for the market. I was able to fit it all in my trunk. Um, the only thing that's not back here is my cooler with eggs and also my little cooler for myself. I'll put those up by the driver's seat, but we've got paint cans here. There's two decor items, a wooden box and then also an egg sign. And my suitcase, my soap box, there's two, I don't know if you can see back there, but there is two um, crates of food, my tent, and then my table, and I'll probably put a lawn chair in here as well. Okay, peeps, I am headed out on the road now. I've got everything packed up. Wish me luck, it kind of looks like rain. So uh, we'll see when I get back how I've done. Hey YouTube, no rain so far. I am set up, the market hasn't officially started yet, but we're all set up and ready to go. This is what my setup looks like. I've got my baked goods on this side, my books, and my jams and eggs on this side. So, and then back there is where I do all the money exchanging and record keeping and stuff. So I've got my chair, and then also over here I've got my soaps and some fiber and then eggs down in the cooler there. So that is my setup. Hey guys, I am back. It is... 10 o'clock basically, um, 10 p.m. Back from the market. I got good news and bad news. The bad news is I did not break even. The good news is I think it's only going to be 9 or $10 in the hole. So I'll do the numbers and I'll get back with you guys after I figured out exactly what my net loss, <laughs> net loss was. Just to show you guys how bad last night was, um, I've compared my previous farmers market this was a saturday morning with my thursday night market and that is how crazy it was last night i hardly made any sales so you can see in the total um the total line there this is what i sold not very many things i had a gross profit of 35 dollars usually that's more like 75 dollars on a saturday um, let's see. Oh, it ended up being better. My bottom line was better than I thought. I ended up losing $4.75 on this market. This was my, um, cost that I did before I went. But when I, when I did this, I forgot that I do use the granola. So I don't count that in my cost of goods sold or not sold. So this was my bottom line. Um lost about five dollars which is better than I thought but still not worth doing I don't think I'm gonna do that night market again for sure so that is what I've got for you today